Okay, the one that I'm going to add color to, I made him a little bit bigger since we're gonna be working with oil pastels. And it, um, it's a little bit tricky to get into little tiny places with oil pastels. So traditionally, dragonflies um, are blue um, and kind of a purpley color, maybe a little, whoops. <laughs> Drop something off my table here. That's okay. Um, blue and kind of a purpley color, maybe a little bit of green. So I'm going to stick with those colors. If you want to make him a bright colored dragonfly, you can certainly do that. But I'm going to start with my pencil and add some details like we're kind of doing it in a different order here than we did with the charcoal one. So I'm going to add some segment marks. And the veins on his wings. I need to make his little, I don't know what these are, little arms or antennas. I'm going to do all the detail work with pencil. Then I'll come back and do the coloring with oil pastels. So I'm going to start with blue. And I'm going to use this dark blue down this side. Digging in pretty deep down here, really pushing hard on that oil pastel just on this one side. Then I'm going to do just some real light shading across there. And then another layer across, really even super lighter than that. that his body is just really, really light colored on that one side. Then with this lighter color of blue, which broke off, um, I'm gonna do his wings. I'm gonna lay it on its side, this little piece on its side, go like this. I know that oil pastels break really, really easily. Sometimes I break them on purpose so I can get a little piece like this to do um, some shading with. Just because it breaks, don't throw these little pieces away because you will use them. I'm going to blend a little bit with my finger. So I want them to be mostly light. I'm going to go across the top with a single line, just across the top. Okay, and now grab your white oil pastel. We're gonna color all of his wing then with white. What that's gonna do is it's gonna bring out um, some spaces that we might not want to be blue. It's gonna make them white again. It's also gonna blend that light blue oil pastel that we had on there. I even want to do some on here too. Get 
It's a good blending tool, this white oil pastel. Okay, now, <laughs> my phone just went off. Um, I'm gonna do his face, like I did on the other one. I'm gonna leave a little white spot there on his eye. Yeah, that's not gonna color in. And then I'm not gonna do any blending on that. Now, since this one is in color, um, we can add some other elements to him. We can add um, a background. You could do a border. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to his body just in a few places. Like this, and then I'm gonna go around. I, I think I am gonna do a border on this one because I liked that. And if you're doing charcoal, it might be interesting to add an oil pastel pastel background to um, add some details and some color to it that way. Um, let's see. I might add a, a branch right there. Put some leaves on it. Just something like that. I'm gonna add some yellow to those leaves. Pretty cute. Okay, so now, move those out of the way and get this other one out. We have um, dragonflies, two different ways, in color and in black and white. Now, on this black and white one, I am, just for fun, going to just add a border around it in purple. There we go. Black and white oil pas and oil pastel. Okay. Well, this was our last lesson for the spring semester. I wish we were celebrating with a big art show. Um... But we've got big things coming this summer, big changes being made at the studio, and I can't wait to see you all again in the fall. The fall, we're going to kick off um, with a big party <laughs> to celebrate being all back together. So I will see you in September, and I hope you have a wonderful, exciting, fun summer. Bye, kids.